is a, a, a perfect example of how we've gone away. And, and, and Mr. Kadzik, with all due respect, you do not represent the American people. You do not represent the American people. We are the only ones elected to represent the American people. Now remember that. Uh, I'm sitting here today thinking I'm hearing an um, old Hogan Heroes rerun with Sergeant Schultz saying, I know nothing. I also understand that you people have been put in very difficult situations representing people who do have the answers, but put you in the place to try to give just enough to satisfy us, and you have staff behind you to make sure that you don't go too far in giving that answer. And that's frustrating. Now, I also understand that you don't have the benefit that we do. There's only one person in our district that people come to and expect to have an answer from, and we're held accountable. Members of Congress, we're elected by those people. And the further you get outside of this, this beltway, and that's the challenge that you have, I understand that. But having relatives that live at different levels outside of this beltway, the further you get away, the more frustration there is that the people have lost control from both sides of the perspective. And so when we who directly represent the people, who have been elected to represent the people in given districts, especially here in the House, are put upon by our people to ask questions and to get understanding for them, you've got to understand why it's frustrating to have documents that we've been told will receive piecemealed out. And so, Ms. Fiesel, I go, I go to you. Uh, representing a state that has waters of the U.S. surrounding us on three sides. Very important to Michigan. So very, I have very great interest in the rules-making process. Back on March 3rd, 2015, in a hearing before this committee, members asked Administrator Shalansky for documents relating to OIRA's review of the waters of the U.S. rulemaking. After the hearing, Committee staff followed up with your staff on numerous occasions about this request, but received no response. How did you instruct your Legislative Affairs staff to respond to the committee after the March 3rd hearing? Did you instruct them not to initiate a search until a formal letter was received from the committee? Did anyone tell you not to initiate a search? What's no. your answers? No. Uh Absolutely, after receiving the request, we began the search. It's a large search, and it's taking time. And I appreciate that we should have, could have increased the speed of that production, and we are working on that. Uh, but when we got that request, we started to produce documents. We produced documents. Over the last several months, we will continue to. In, 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 in your first production to this committee, on June 4th, OMB provided 893 pages of documents, 893 pages, 846 of which were publicly available online. Were you aware of that? The document request that we received was quite broad, and the documents that we produced were responsive to that. The the several of those documents, or much of that documents, were publicly available online. Well, in since light of that. Then, since then, we have produced email communications between senior OIRA officials. Is, is it normal practice to have staff that are he under heavy load, I understand that, to produce for a committee documents that are readily available online already? That was, we, we, as we read the request, the request was quite broad. We believe that the documents that we provided were part of that request. That's not helpful. I mean, we could do that. We have plenty of other pages. Just going over to what EPA has provided for us already. They've provided 21,000 pages of responsive documents. 21,000 pages. In the last 10 months, OMB has provided this committee with 3,260 uh, 3, pages. 21,000 versus 3,260. That's concerning. 
The role of EPA with respect to promulgating this rule is considerably different than the role that OIRA and OMB play. The number of documents that we would produce for any rule would be expected to be considerably smaller. Eighty percent were agency. online already, and we are capable of seeing those. We weren't asking for those. I, I disagree with the characterization that 80 percent of what we have produced for this committee were available online. The first production included materials that were available online. The subsequent productions and the Less vast than majority, pages the vast majority of the documents we have produced for this committee have not been documents that were available online. I yield back.